have you ever been somewhere where somebody was dressed so nicely you just couldn't resist staring at them? Well today I'm going to show you how you can be that person. Hi, my name is I'm 12 years old and a member of the Rock Creek Ranchers 4-H Club. Today I'm going to show you how you can can't resist fabric. Today I'm going to talk to you about the materials you need, the procedures you need to take, and I'm going to leave you with some fun ideas to make this your own. The materials you'll need are a plain white t-shirt that's been pre-washed, cardboard and some white, plain white paper, a black permanent marker and a pencil, flour, water, a squeeze bottle, acrylic paint, and a small spray bottle. The first thing you need to do is to pre-wash your white t-shirt. Uh, you want to pre-wash it, that way it will be pre-shrunk. If you wash after you've put your design on uh, and you wash it again, it could mess up your design if it shrinks. You also don't want to use fabric softener, otherwise um, your materials will not stick to your t-shirt. The first thing you need to do is draw um, a, de a simple design without any major details. Today I'm just doing a simple heart. I also brought a couple uh, examples of things you, that uh, could, that would be okay, like this one. And since I go to Norris, I thought it would be fun to make a Norris shirt. And you'd want to experiment, experiment with that one since some of the lines are kind of close. This one would be a bad example because um, all of these little lines are so close together. Um, after you have your design on your paper, you want to take your permanent marker and trace over it. You want to do this. That way, once you uh, put it inside your t-shirt, you can see your design. Um, next, you want to put your cardboard and your paper into your shirt. And when you put your cardboard in your shirt, you want to make sure that the cardboard isn't flimsy because it has to support your shirt. Otherwise, um, it could uh, mess up your paste design. Uh, okay. And you want your design to be where you want it to be. So if you want it in the middle, you have to make sure that it's in the middle. Otherwise, um, you could put something up here or down here. The next thing you need to do is make your flour and water paste. I've already pre-made mine, but uh, you do this by mixing your flour and your water in a bowl. You can use a mixer, a whisk, or uh, you can even use your hands, and that way you know how you have all the lumps out. Um, you want it to be the consistency of mustard, and um, you want to make sure that there aren't any lumps, otherwise it could get stuck in your uh, bottle. Next, you want to put your flour and paste into your squeeze bottle. But, uh, the easiest way to do this is by squeezing it uh, so most of the air is out, and then you stick the tip in, and you let it slowly fill up. Once you have your paste into your bottle, you can start tracing it onto your shirt. Um, sometimes, if you're just starting, you want to uh, practice a couple times on your shirt, I mean, on another piece of paper. Um, that way you know how thick or thin you want your lines. The thinner your lines, um, they don't peel uh, off your shirt as well. And the narrower the lines, um, it, it doesn't show up when the item has completely dried. After, okay, um, and I'm going to show you how to put your paste onto your t-shirt. You want to follow your lines completely around the t-shirt. Like that. And if, uh, it, if it happens like this, you can just take your finger and you can wipe that up. And the paste is edible, but I wouldn't eat it because it's really bland and it doesn't taste very good. <laughs> um, when you're diluting your paint, uh, it's about half to half, so you have half water and half paint. Um, for your acrylic paint, you don't want to have uh, any glitter or textured paint, otherwise it could get stuck in your, the tip of your spray bottle. 
you want to lightly spray over your shirt where the design is. And I'm just going to use water today. And you want to make sure that you have com completely covered where your design is. Otherwise, when it dries, it will not show up. You want to make sure uh, you're going to want to let your shirt sit until um, all the paint and all the flowers completely dry. Once it's dry, <coughs> I already have a shirt that I've pre-dried. Once you've dried it, you want to peel off your flower paste. And once you peel it off, you can uh, see your designs start to take shape. And that's where your paste was. Once you have your shirt completely peeled off like this one, you want to wash it in warm water in a load by itself because you don't know if your paint could bleed into other fabrics. Um, you should wash it in warm or hot water unless the directions on the shirt say not to. Instead of using a t-shirt, you can use aprons like the one I'm wearing, towels, bedspreads, pillowcases, and any other kinds of <coughs> fabrics. Um, here's one I did where um, you don't have to have just one color. You can use multiple colors like I did on this one. And then here's a pair of shorts that we made to go with it. And we did the design on our pocket. This is one my little sister made. And um, for the nose, we use glow paint. You can use glow paint as long as it doesn't have any texture in it. Today, I told you what materials you need, the procedures you need to take, and I left you with a couple fun ideas to make this project your own. So now you're the one people just can't resist staring at. Thank you for your time. Are there any questions? What was your source of information? Um, I started learning this a long time ago, so I can't quite remember. But um, we've done this at Clover College, and so, yeah. And how, you know, you said your little sister did that one. How young do you think you could have somebody do this? Um, well, my sister was five when she did that one, and she did have some help from my mom. But um, it's actually really safe with little kids, so if they decide to put this in their mouth, it's okay. And so um, just as long as the design isn't, like, really, really complicated, so. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.